going back to what we talked about, um, helping cover expenses is, is, is so key when you have so much going on. Okay, here's the greenhouse. Um, here's a little bit of what's going on in here. We got some tomatoes and peppers here. They're a little bit behind what's in the garden, so we've kept them in here. These are, uh, the most of these are the ones that we have planted, we planted last August, y'all. I'm still getting tomatoes off of these from last August. Now, not all of them. This is new. I planted that from seed um, back in February, I believe. And it is just about as tall as I am. Um, this one is new. This one is new. This one is new. This one is new. And this one is new. And I will keep all of these in my greenhouse. Okay. Um, that's an old fall one. And I'm still, like I said, I'm still getting tomatoes, y'all. It's amazing. Um, this one is taller than I am. It is near the top of my greenhouse. I'm 5'2", and it is getting close to six feet. So this tomato plant, let me turn this around. Let me see if I can show y'all how tall it is. So here I am at my height, and it's that much above my head. That is pretty cool. Um, let's get over to my sage. Oh, time first. Time's right here. Here's the time that I was talking to you about. Y'all, I almost lost this. This time, as you can see, these little pieces right here, that was my time dying out in the raised bed. And look how much it has grown. I'm so excited about that. Now, I bought two more, and they've grown tremendously because I thought I was gonna lose this plant and I love the smell, I love the taste. Um, I cook with a lot of my herbs. So I am so excited I did not lose this. I, I'm just not sure what's going on in that bed. It's really stressing me out. Um, but some of my herbs just don't, just they just don't grow there. So, um, as you can see, it's grown tremendously. I thought I was gonna lose this. I think I showed y'all some of my herbs in another video. Anyway, my sage. So I know I did this one. Here's my sage. Y'all can see this is almost what it looked like when I dug it up. I mean, it was literally on its deathbed. And look at the growth, y'all. It has grown so much. I even have new little pieces growing down at the bottom, right here. And this was also one in my bed that I thought was gonna die. I mean, I just, I knew for sure I was gonna lose it. So I bought another one from our local nursery and it doesn't look as good as the one that I dug up. Um, okay. So, this was oregano, like I said, that I'd taken from clippings. Um, Y'all have seen it in my video before. I had it in a different pot because um, it was very small. I've transplanted it, and you can see how much it's grown. This is one I also take, plan to take to the farmer's market to sell. Um, this was my mother basil that I've told y'all a lot about. I've actually started a new video that's not quite done on this. It's getting really woody. You can see I've let these start going to seeds and I'm going to give y'all some updates on step-by-step um, -step process. We'll come back out here in several weeks. I'll record again on that and um, then once I harvest the seeds when it's ready, um, I'll record again on that. So that video is not going to be ready for a long time, but that's my plan with this. Those are some lavenders. I've talked to y'all about before that I've picked up at the local nursery. I have slaughtered many lavenders. <laughs> I've always tried to get them in that raised bed, y'all, and it just doesn't work. So I'm going to transplant these. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to transplant these into um, 
some bigger pots and these will not go out of my greenhouse these will stay in my greenhouse and they're gonna stay in here for ever <laughs> uh, clippings the oregano clippings i have taken some clippings just this spring they have grown tremendously i rooted them i plan to take these to the farmer's market as well basil i've harvested off of these several times um they are growing really good i harvested off of them not long ago it's been maybe a week or two ago so um they they're kind of in the process of growing back and replenishing themselves um replacing their leaves and everything from what i took but um so they're not as full as they 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 quote probably should be but it's because i, I harvest off basil pretty heavy y'all i have a huge jar inside that is full of dried basil and I use it on everything from dips to um, salads and on baked chickens and pork chops and roast and just about anything you can think of. Um, so that's pretty much a wrap of the greenhouse uh, of the changes that's going on in here. Um, the basils, the scrowing, oregano's that I've established from clippings, new lavender, I'm letting this go to seed um the sage that i saved from the raised bed um the thyme that i saved from the raised bed uh these the, these are also mints that i took clippings from um that i also plan to take to the farmer's market um and they're absolutely beautiful they have just grown tremendously from the little bitty pieces that i had uh, okay rosemary clippings quickly i took these off of my plant outside established roots last fall and these bad boys are taking off i do plan to take maybe one or two to sell and on um, the rest i'm going to keep for myself and keep in here this is called carpet rosemary and this was another one y'all that i dug up because this is what it looked like um everything was just dying out there and you can see how much beautiful growth that it has put off since i've dug it up so um, i'm going to be very peculiar about what i put in that bed from now on trying to learn what is good and what's not these are um all of the tomato plants that are going to stay in here like I said, some of these, like the one that is so big back here is um, from last August, guys. Last August. How cool is that? Um, And my orange trees. The only other thing I wanted to show y'all. Um, last time, I believe that we recorded in here. I'm not sure if these had buds on them or not. I have some oranges. Yay! Um, still little bitty ones up here. This will turn into an orange, guys. This right here. This right here. And you can see they're probably about the size of a ping pong ball. Maybe a little bit smaller than that. I had to get my lemon tree transplanted into a bigger pot um, because I could tell that my leaves, the growth was getting really stunned. My leaves started looking terrible. You can still see some of the lighter spots um, because the roots just didn't have anywhere to go and there's new growth since I've transplanted it. I mean, a lot of new growth. So I'm really glad of that too. Um, and you know, everything that we do is a learning curve, a learning process. These are some things that I started by seed that I'm waiting to grow up. This is some more sage that I grew from seed. This is in my gardener's seed um, sage. This is some basil. Um, my husband swears up and down that this is cucumbers, but I'm, I told him, I said, y'all, I'm telling you, this is the basil that it come from. We just happened to come across that and picked it up. And um, so I planted it to see what it would do. And y'all, I mean, it's grown. 
Um, I'm not exactly sure what variety that is, but hey, we're all about trying stuff new and experimenting. Strawberry plants are still um, growing great in here. Um, I believe, I can't, y'all, I cannot remember when we recorded in here last. But at one point in time, I had these in little bitty containers like this that um, I dug up from the fall and brought in here. I want to keep these in here. They will stay in here um, because my beds out there that have lots of red tomatoes on them. I mean tomatoes. I got my mind on tomatoes. Strawberries. You can see I've got lots of little red strawberries down there. Um, I mean, this is not quite so little. I mean, you can see it's a nice size. But if I don't get to it before the worms do, um, it's no good and I have to give it to the chickens. And that's not what I want to do, which we've gotten a good bit of strawberries already this year. But anyway, this raised bed, I've never had any problems with. The most things that I've had planted is strawberries, um, catnip, spearmint and peppermint and um everything's always sun seemed to do well on this side however that side over there not so well so i don't know y'all we're just gonna watch it and see we found where did all those plums go some plums i did find a few here's one and this branch up there is loaded with them. If you can see them, we'll try to bring it down. The elderberries, I'm not going to walk y'all to all of them. But the elderberries, I just did a video on. Um, still doing good. I've got them planted. We've been watering them. I showed y'all that they were real, real tender. Um, so some of the branches where we broke... We've kind of lost, like you can see, that's broke. I accidentally broke it trying to get it off. I mean, get it out of the five gallon bucket. But new growth, y'all. They look great. So I'm excited about that. Hopefully they're gonna keep growing and give us some berries soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed our video. Um, you know, one of the things that we love to do is share our knowledge, share our experiences. Um, we try to be um, real with what we're showing and what we're doing, um, the struggles that we've had, some of the things that we've overcame. Um, we really appreciate all the people that have uh, watched us and uh, commented um, and have asked us questions and gave us encouragement and support. All that really means a lot to us. You know, we're just an average family um, doing things that um, there are a lot of people that don't, there are a lot of people that can't, and there are a lot of people that do. Um, we don't stick out like a sore thumb. We're not um, extra special, um, but you know, we just want to show others um, our journey. Like I said, the things that we've we've learned, the things that we've experienced, and we hope that this will help you guys. We hope that this will give. We have heard some great stories. Um, we have a friend that lives in East Tennessee and she watches all of our videos and she is very special to us and um, they just bought meat chickens and um, she said, you know, y'all are our inspiration to do that. So that's, that's so much of encouragement to us because we want to know that we're making a difference in people's lives, that the reason why we chose this lifestyle sometimes it's not easy um with doing chores early in the morning and late in the afternoon but for the health benefits that we get to reap from that with all the blueberries behind us um the plums the apple trees the our own vegetables our own milk i make my own butter y'all have seen a lot of our our videos so um none of that comes easy um it's not like going to the grocery store, picking up things, putting it in your cart, and it's done for you. Um, it's not cheaper, but it's healthier. Um, another another story, another testimony from a friend is 
um, a local friend of us, um, her little girl has had fits with eczema um, for years. Um, they've tried very expensive skin creams, lotions. Um, they've worked on her diet for a really long time. Um, they swap from store-bought milk um, to almond milk. Uh, she just really was not, she swapped soaps. I mean, everything that you could think of. So she was sharing this with me and um, we started talking about the different things we do around here. And she said, you know, one thing that I would love to do is to try that raw milk, try real milk. So we have, watch out Ellie Bell. So we um, have sent some milk home with her and she messaged me today and said you should see my daughter's skin it is amazing the results that we've had in such a short amount of time i know for our family we're doing what makes sense we're doing what makes sense we want to resort back to the natural god-given things um <clears throat> of growing our own foods um, and we are not 100% there. There are things that we still have to go to the grocery store to pick up. But we want to change as much of that as we can. And that's been the whole point of this journey for us. And um, I hope that people can comprehend and can think, can understand, hey, we can do this too. Even if it is just a small bucket of tomatoes on your back porch even if it's some fruit trees in your backyard spend time learning it invest in it um, those are low maintenance key uh, things that you can do that don't require your time all the time um, so anyway I hope that this has been a good video for y'all to learn learn why we do what we do where we're at um, the pros and the cons that y'all have seen from, from us today. And anyway, um, if you have any questions, let us know. That's what we're here for. And happy homesteading, y'all.